Greetings Marines, Fayot here and today I came in, I, I relapsed and I am bringing you the 3.0 version of my Vanguard build. Now if you caught the last stream you might remember that I was talking about shrapnel and that shrapnel now is huge value for the grenade. And uh, of course my Vanguard build is all about the grenade, so I was thinking the amount of damage you can get out of this thing is insane. You can get upwards from 7000 HP. That will clear every fodder enemy in the game like easily and chip away at the biggies, making them softer targets for you to take out. So it's like I have to take out something to put shrapnel in, but I didn't want to have empty slots because the thing that was self-explanatory that would go was down and out you don't get really that much value from down and out from such a small duration of knockdown or stun so i tried to move things around and fit everything that i wanted in and this is what i ended up with so Self-explanatory things that we want to have is the remote detonator, the disorienting blast and the shrapnel of course because this is the best controlled CC in the game by far. Then you get disorienting blast that is your actual CC. This is just to control its trajectory and explosion and shrapnel will deal 50% of the initial blast is damage over 10 seconds now if you've watched my video on how to use the gunner's grenade to get optimal damage out of it you know that the ideal way is to throw it prime it by shooting targets so you build your stay on target 20 percent extra and then detonate it and get the most out of it with this out of the way we'll go to our overclock we want quick load interlink if you don't have quick load interlink you are a selfish person and you need to rethink your ways in your life and stopwatch because it is the most broken thing you get 20 percent of overclock every time your overclock is expanded which is insane then we go to stay on target can go for targets acquired when your full stacks of stay on target your ability recharge speed is greatly increased use automatics with the gunner keep this going and you cut your timers for getting back to our deals by a huge amount it's pretty nuts and now for the start of the show, the grenade itself. What we want to do here is get batteries included and a rapid deployment. These are a 40% flat reduction to our cooldown, which is the soft cap. Don't go beyond 40% for whatever reason on anything. And then we want to go force multiplier 3 and force multiplier 4. That's another 40% if you add these two together. Now, what I ended up doing is take out, as I said, the down and out perk, and I put enhanced reach three and enhanced reach two in here. That in the end gives us 40% ability damage, 31% radius, and 40% ability recharge speed. Now, down and out might be out, but the insane damage you get out of shrapnel plus the 9% ability radius is gonna come in huge in any encounter imaginable. My ability radius in uh, Vanguard 2.0 was 22%. There is a 9% difference there. But because the damage is so extreme, and of course this is a horde shooter, that additional distance that you will be affecting is going to help you tremendously. Now, I never present my findings or my builds as the be-all, end-all, because I'm not a narcissist. Uh, you can take out enhanced reach and put in jackpot. Jackpot for some people represents insane value i'm not in that school of thought per se but i can see why they like it so much the thing with the jackpot perk is that if you don't land the final shot on an enemy that is not a fodder enemy you don't get anything out of it 
So it will take a bit of coordination with your team. It will take a bit of um, cross-referencing what you're shooting to get the most out of it. But of course, it helps in the biggest of fights. And you're the gunner. You're the guy that's dealing the damage unless you have a very good Vulcan wielding demo in the team. May whomever you like to call a god have mercy on your soul if you do that. Unless they're a very good player. Or you can take enhanced reach out and put short control bursts for specific weapons. This is crazy and I never paid it too much mind. I never paid too much mind to short control bursts. But I know that it can work. I know that it can present some value and can really help you out. Now, since we want that grenade to be back as soon as possible and we have targets acquired here, make a conscious effort of putting a, an automatic in this slot, like whichever you like here. This is my recon configuration for the Pulse, Zvezda, Kramer, Grupa, 88, whatever fits the bill and helps you use that stay on target because as i said the damage reduction you will be getting is crazy good and you want to have that grenade back as fast as possible not to mention the overclock of course this is not a shredder build you know my shredder builds if you've been following the channel i might do a revision of this i'm not 100 sure i should do this before pathogen but um any automatic here will help you capitalize on targets acquired that much more easily. And uh, don't forget that a shotgun shoots a number of pellets and each one of these pellets hitting is another hit on an enemy. That will help you stay on target as well. So it's not a one-way street. I'm just giving you some info to make it as easy as possible. So this is Vanguard 3.0 guys I hope you find it interesting and useful shrapnel after the recalibration or let's say the fix of the glitch with the damage and how it was calculated is insane value for two slots in your grid and I highly recommend you give it a go because it's good now Sub, like, and share if you like the work being done here, people. And hit the notification bell if you're going to be notified about uploads and streams. And if you really, really, really want to help me out, consider Patreon or get a membership here on the channel. It helps tremendously and even your favorite content creator needs to eat. Until next time, be well. Stay frosty and always try perfection, Marines. Gior.